my grand aunt Kathleen Cohen went to school with Isabel McDonough at King Copple Convent, Elizabeth Bay. And my mother, who was called Margaret Cohen, went to school with the youngest McDonough sister also at King Copple. So that's my connection. Isabel and my grand aunt Kathleen, my mother described them as being best friends. And Isabel used to come and stay with Kathleen and her family at Yes quite a lot, even after they left school. That they stayed close friends is demonstrated by the fact that when Isabel was, when the film The Cheetahs was being made, Kathleen lent Isabel a very special dress that she'd bought in Paris to wear in the film. And this was always remembered as a sort of family story in our, in our family and handed down to me from my mother. The dress was bought in Paris in I'm assuming in 1925 when Kathleen and a friend of hers, always called Mrs John Woods, went on a six month tour of the, the continent and the British Isles. While they were in Paris, Kathleen bought this sequin dress that had sort of iridescent sequins on it. So it's a cream dress, but it shines in different colours. Coming on the way back to Australia, when they were staying for the second time in Rome, Kathleen actually had a photograph of herself taken, a very flattering photograph, wearing the dress. And this was a photograph actually taken in a photographic studio in Rome. And it has the date in Roman numerals underneath it, 1925. So this is the dress that Isabel McDonough wore in The Cheetahs. It's very much a 1920s flapper sort of dress. It's got um, fringing of at the front that is covered in sequins as well, which is quite un unusual. And the year after Kathleen came back from Europe, which was 1926, there was a ball in the Ambassadors, which was like the really hot night spot in Sydney in the 1920s. It was in the basement of the Strand Arcade. And Kathleen wore what we can assume was that dress. And it was written about in at least two newspapers at the time, described in different colours. I think the sequins actually made it in one report appear pink and another golden. But I would think this would be the dress because to buy a dress in Paris would be special, I think. About 1980 or the early 80s, I began doing a whole series of interviews with my mother, who was an artist, um, and herself grew up in Yes. And really, I hadn't heard about, Kath I knew Kathleen and had often stayed with her and visited her as a child, but I didn't know about the dress until I started to record the interviews with my mother. And that's when my mother talked about Kathleen being friends with the oldest McDonough girl and she herself going to school with the littlest McDonough sister. And then she said, she told me about the dress being lent to Kathleen. And because I was particularly interested in filmmaking, I guess I was interested and knew about the McDonough sisters anyway and so it was particularly interesting to me. My mother did love history and she loved the notion of things being handed on so my mother would have intentionally preserved it. I mean there would have been lots of other of Kathleen's clothes that just got given away so it was a conscious effort to preserve the dress like that. But the white gloves and the tissue paper are only something I've become aware of in the last few years as I've had to sort of really give away a lot of the things that my mother collected. 